The driving force in my art making is play. Exploring images both found and created, color relationships, happenstance in design, and then mixing them in different ways is the challenge and the pleasure. My tools of the trade are monotype and collage, which I join in different ways. I'm intrigued by forms moving rhythmically in space, a theme I return to over and over. In this series, I printed abstract textural designs on very thin, translucent Japanese papers, then layered two sheets together, one in front of the other. Each paper has added collage elements based on something calligraphic. Through multiple layers, the works are an interplay of texture, color, and form. Light shining through the papers gives a special life, but also a fragility in handling them. So to be able to both see and touch, I have adhered the layered papers to plexiglass. A lot of these materials come from my earlier background as a hand weaver, textile designer, and colorist. The very first prints I made were at the home of an experienced printmaker, and he said, here's the ink, here's the paper, do what you want. So I found netting. I've always been interested in netting because of how it flows, its irregularities and the irregularities you can make with it. In this piece, I've laid string over the inked plate, and where you see white, it's where the string has resisted the ink. Through several sheets of paper, the light enables you to see the different layers. I have a series of textures, and on top of that, I layer my second love, which is calligraphy from around the world. But not the calligraphy is actually seen in actual writing. I create invented calligraphy in different ways. Sometimes I take a brush on paper and just let my hand move and sometimes I cut forms and have them all over my table and play with putting them together. That's always the way I work. I have everything laid out on the table. I take something from this and something from that and put it all together. I never have worked by saying, this is what I plan to do and these are the steps. This way of working was a relief and a leap from the world of hand weaving, where you have to set up your structure and the structure is what leads you to the final piece. You can only weave from salvage to salvage. You can only work with what you have on the loom. Now I play on a big surface. I can put anything together. That was a new freedom. In this piece, again, you see my invented calligraphy. The swooping red of my kanji, and you can see again how I've layered several pieces of paper to see if I can give the effect of writing, although it's not readable. Another of my previous careers, my actual first career, was in modern dance and choreography. Calligraphy is very dance-like too. In all of my artwork, it's not always conscious, but the sense of forms moving in space is a lot of what I'm doing. And that's the same as when I choreographed. When you choreograph, 
you looking at the stage and the dancers' bodies in space. Now, my dancers are abstract forms moving in two-dimensional space. <laughs>